Scientists say the very early appearance this week of an algae bloom off Long Island is a sign that nitrogen pollution is getting worse. The so-called mahogany tide can be seen in bays across Suffolk County, but there may be some help on the way, as CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports. You can't help but notice the Great South Bay looks brown, mahogany brown. It doesn't look like I want to go swimming anytime soon. It looks more like August than it does May. This early in the season, experts say a mahogany tide is an alarming sign of trouble. Disastrous for the bay. It's very harmful for our marine life and all the plant life that lives in the bay. The algal blooms you can notice in the water, they're floating around, they're green and slimy. The brown color is from the overgrowth of algae, which blocks sunlight and starves marine life. It was the home of oysters, blue point oysters. It was home of hard shell clams and, and the like. People deserve when they live on Long Island to have a bay that is healthy, alive, teeming with life. And it's not. Since the 1980s, there's been an annual assault of brown, rust, red, and mahogany tides from different algae, human caused due to nitrogen from lawn fertilizers and outdated cesspools. You flush your toilet, the water goes into a holding tank under your property, and it literally just leaches into the ground. It goes into our groundwater, and all of that groundwater eventually makes its way to the bay. Until more septic systems are upgraded, Dr. Chris Gobler with Stony Brook University says he's discovered a tool that can be used now. We need solutions right now to protect water quality. And the kelp that you see right here is just that solution. The dirtier the water you put it in with the more nitrogen, the more nitrogen it removes. A bill in Albany would allow acres of kelp, a seaweed, to be grown in shallow Long Island waters. We can help to improve water quality just by growing kelp. In the meantime, advocates ask Long Islanders to start making a difference in their own yards by rethinking what the super green lawn means to the bays. In Southampton, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And for information on how to apply for a grant to replace an outdated septic system, you can head over to cbsnewyork.com and click on links and numbers.